Hey everybody, this is a continuation of the percentage decrease multipliers lesson, so it's part two. Make sure you uh, have a go with working out whether these are true or false. You shouldn't need to calculate anything on a calculator. Pause the video, have a go, and then we're going to check. Okay, let's do the true or false. So, 10% decrease is working out 90%, that's true. 20% decrease you're working out 80%, so that's false. This should be 0 0.8. A multiplier of 0 0.4 is a decrease of 40%, false. You are working out 60%. Um, a 60% decrease if your multiplier is 0 0.4 or, so there's two ways to look at this, either a 60% decrease or 40% of the amount. Okay, for question four, multiplier of 0 0.75 is decrease, is a decrease of 25%, true or false? So we can see that that is gonna be true. 20% off is a decrease of 20%. That is true. One quarter percent off an amount is a multiplier of 0 0.75. So this is false. Now this one is a bit of a tricky one because one quarter percent is actually not the same as 25%. One quarter percent is one quarter of one percent. In other words, 0.25%. Now, 0.25% is not the same as 25%. So that's false. Okay, 30% decrease. The multiplier is 1.3. So that's false. This is a 30% increase would be 1.3. If you did have a 30% decrease, it would be 0 0.7 would be your multiplier because you take 30% off you're left with 70% and then finally a decrease of 10% followed by another decrease of 10% we would use the multiplier 0 0.8 now this one is a bit more complex when you get to compound percentages this will be explained in a lot more detail but this is a whole other topic now this actually turns out to be false and the short explanation is when you take 10% off, so say this represents your whole amount, you take 10% off, you're then, for the further 10% decrease, you're finding a 10% of the new amount. So you're only taking 10% of the green bar, not the original amount. So this doesn't work because the original amount changes. Okay, here's a table for you to pause and complete. I'll do the top row for you. So a 10% decrease means we're working out 90%. The multiplier is 0 0.9. As a fraction, it's going to be 9 over 10. Or 90 over 100. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of the questions, but I, the answers will appear in 3 two, one. Those are the answers. Mark your work. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we're going to continue with this exercise. So copy this and complete it. You are required to work out the final answer. I'll do the first one for you. So a decrease of 30, uh, decreasing 30 by 10% is going to be 30 times 0 0.9. And then we can use your calculator to work this out. So, so using your calculator, we are going to do 30 times 0 0.9. That's going to give us 27. So although you can do some of these in your head, we're practicing how to use the calculator method. So make sure to use that. Pause the video. Here come the answers in 3, 2, one. Okay, so here are the answers to the questions. And finally, we are going to 
look at the connection between both of these things. So the first row has been done for you. You should complete the rest of this. You don't need a calculator to do it. You're just showing the calculations. You're not working out the final answer. Pause the video and have a go. And the answers are going to appear in three, two, one. Here we go. Those are the answers. Have a think about what you notice about these multipliers. I'll just highlight the thing you probably have noticed already. It's very hard not to notice this. Okay, so I hope you found that video useful. Make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.